Man, today we got something a little bit special for you guys inside the box right here. I had to pull the trigger early. I had to get these things for myself for the collection. This is a personal pickup for your boy DaVinci. So, um, you know, feels good to kind of bring this one to you guys today, man. So let's go ahead and right into this early look over these Air Jordan 3s, man. Let's get right into it. What's going on, YouTube, man? Thanks for tapping back in. As you guys can see, man, we kind of like a uh, 40. 50% done with the sneaker room. If y'all seen the other side of the crib or the other side of the sneaker room, you'd be like, yo, what is going on? We're almost to the finished product and I cannot wait to show you guys a new and improved sneaker slash man cave, man. So if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell for your boys and miss out on any content that we drop on the channel. And please give a huge like on today's video, man. We need that like. We need everybody to spend them likes up. We need all them joints. We gotta get back in the algorithm. Content is definitely going to be coming. Uh, some collab videos, some early looks, look books, clothing hauls, all that good stuff. We got you on the channel. Like I said, stay tuned for all that by hitting that notification bell right now. All right, man. Here we have them. As you guys can see, I told y'all in the thumbnail, it's a pair of Air Jordan 3s, but this is not your regular, regular pair of 3s. As you can see by the box, it comes in an entire white box with your gold jump in up top, which kind of hints that it is a woman's exclusive. Women's exclusive have been killing it this year, last year. The quality is always top notch. And I already kind of peeped these things, but I only took a little, you know, quick look at them just to make sure everything was good. And uh, yeah, now we finally have them. We're going to show you guys today, man. So, fish colorway reads Women's Air Drum 3 Retro, white, varsity red, and lucky green. And we got these things in a size 10 and a half in women, which is, of course, is a size 9 for your boy, the Ventures, man. So, uh, without further ado, you know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and drum roll this thing up. And open this thing and check them out in three, two, one, and bam, man. There you have them. We have them, bro. One of my most anticipated pickups of the year, the Air Jordan 3. Oh, women's lucky greens, bro. Look at them. Look at them things, bro. The things is beautiful, man. So real quick, let's go ahead and pull both of them out of the box real quick, like, you know what I'm saying, just so I can show y'all really what they're hitting for. Might got to turn the brightness down just a little bit, just a little tad bit, so you guys can pick up that real true color of them things, but you can see, man, look at them. Just beautiful, man. I don't know if it's just me or if I kind of like these a lot more just because of the Katrinas. They did like a, I forget the name of them, but it was like a Katrina 3, but they had like the lime green laces in there. I think it even had a lime green Jumpman on the tongue. I'm not too sure. This is a couple years ago, like back in 2018, if I'm not mistaken. And I think that's really why I like these a lot, man. That green and that white on a pair of threes is definitely popping. I really like it. And uh, they, you know, switch it up. They're the woman's exclusive. And I'm all here for it, man. So just all first looks, just all first impressions, man. You guys let me know down below in the comment section how you rocking out with these. Like, I know we about a week out from the drop. These release officially May the 18th. It should be pretty much everywhere, but you guys know how it is for women's exclusives. You guys know how it is for Air Jordan 3s in general. The things don't stay, you know, sitting for long, you know what I'm saying? They might end up selling out really, really quickly on the sneakers app. They might end up selling quickly out of your sneaker stores in your local area. You just never know. You really never know with the Jordan 3, the hype, and especially a colorway like this. I really, really do like it, and it might creep up and just sell out for everybody, you know what I'm saying? You just never know how it goes, so that's what I always tell y'all. Y'all really like the sneaker? Go ahead and put that leg work in now. Put that footwork and uh, try to get you a pair. You know what I'm saying? This might be one of them limited pair of women's exclusives. It might end up like the UNC threes. You guys know UNC threes, bro. Them joints dropped and uh, nobody really was hyping them up. You know what I'm saying? It was a UNC, of course. And uh, next thing you know, things are already going for 300 on the release date. But these right here, totally different story. They're only going for around $230 in my size. So. It's, that's really fairly, uh, you know, reasonable price, especially for an early pair. And they retail for $200. So you're going to for right around that tag. And I, I and I kind of hinted at it yesterday when we dropped the video, talking, you know, chopping up what he got kicks and uh, telling you guys how you get pairs early, what's the best spots to hit. And, uh, you know, if you ever want to get a pair of early sneakers, I'm going to definitely help you guys out in that video coming very, very soon. But you guys see them, man. The elephant print even matches on the toe box. Flipping around the back, it even matches on the back as well. You guys know what I'm talking about. These bad boys next to me. We're going to grab them here real quick. So as y'all can see, we have my favorite sneaker of the year to drop. The Air Jordan 3 Reimagined. You guys can see the back. 
the differences in the cement on the back, the elephant print, and you check out the toe box, it's still definitely different. And that's why everybody, every three they've been copping after this one, they always checking like, yo, is, is the elephant print matching? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Is there any crazy quality control issues? And with these threes right here, there is not any at all. I'm not going to lie. Like, the quality is pretty good. The leather is even super tumbled on this pair as well. And I'm really liking how they're doing that kind of age midsole on the threes that we are getting. Uh, I think it's just a win-win for me. Like I said, I'm super excited to have these joints. And I want to see how you guys are feeling about them down below in the comment section, man, right now. All right, and then a couple things I did not point out. I'm definitely going to be doing a full review and on feet coming very, very shortly. Got to throw these things on feet. But something I want to point out in today's video is that it does come with this cool little green hang tag right here with your jump man on there. And then on the bottom, you get the same hitch. You get the lucky green. And you have the red Jordan on the outs on these guys. And like I said, the quality, super, super tumbled on these. I need this quality on every single pair of Jordans I pick up this year. Because I love when it has some good quality leather. You can rock these things. You don't got to worry about them looking like the Air Jordan 3 True Blues that we got back in 20, uh, what was that, 2016, I believe. The quality was super trash on the 3s. And I'm liking how Jordan is moving towards, you know, the better quality on Jordan 3s that we've been getting. Yeah, guys, May the 18th, these bad boys will be dropping retail tag $200. I need to see all you guys' comments. Fire, trash, do you need them? Is Jordan just coming up with this release? You know, was these one of those filler Air Jordan colorways? I don't think so. I really like them. As soon as I seen the images of these actually dropping, you know, I was super excited for them. And I had to add them to the collection. We're bringing them early just for the Vintage Squad. And if you're new to the channel, like I said, man, sub up. Hit the notification bell. I don't want y'all to miss out on none of this early content. None of this heat we about to be bringing you guys here in the near future. So right now, sub up. Hit that notification bell. Smack that like button. We got to get back in the algorithm. We got to go back to killing it. And 100K is definitely the grind this year. I want to bring that plaque in 2024, man. It's all going to be with you guys' support. I cannot wait to, you know, bring in that moment with you guys. I appreciate all of the support. Thank you guys for tapping in once again. And, uh, yeah, with all that being said, I'm going to catch y'all in the next video, man. Peace.